What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to unlock the auto sprint ability. So as we know, a big part of this game is being able to right click on the map and auto path there. If you press T, you will automatically head there. You're going to be using this a whole lot in BDO and anybody who says they don't is lying. <laughs> and if you play BDO, you know exactly how ginormous this game is. It is absolutely huge and it's still growing. Having a horse and auto pathing places is absolutely imperative. This is the auto sprint ability. In order to use this, we need our on trainer level one so what the training artist on one level means is that you need this life skill at this level while the life skills start at beginner and then go to apprentice skilled professional and then artisan it may seem like a lot of investment to get to artist on one but i promise you it is extremely easy now what i'll be showing you today will not be the fastest way to do this if you're trying to get to that artist on one level as fast as you possibly can you're going to want to go catch wild horses i'm going to link a guide down below on how to do this you basically get some rope find some wild horses then tame them there's a mini game you got to do and there's different tiers and then you take it to a stable taming wild horses could definitely be a lot of fun but personally i'd rather just do some things in video afk if i can for me horse training is one of them as you can see i'm already almost artist on one and i've only been doing this afk auto method for about a week on and off mostly at night so what we're going to do is click on the magnifying glass and we're going to go to stable we're going to talk to them we're going to hit stable and then horse market your training skill increases by the level you go up so we're going to buy the cheapest horse we can at the lowest level just stick to these four tiers is anything more than that that can get expensive. Just go through these tiers and try to find the lowest level that you can. The lowest levels right now I see are these level sixes, so I'm gonna get these. Once you have that, you're gonna go to stable, then click on the horse that you bought and then hit take out. I definitely suggest in getting some basic horse gear and then equipping your mount. Once you equip it, get on your horse and then find a nice little open area like right here and then open up your map. Then you're going to select an end location and hit set looped auto path. You're going to escape and then press T. Put as many life XP, training XP, and mount XP buffs as you can. And then literally do nothing. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. So here's just a couple buffs that you use. If you have the villa, you can definitely use the turning gates buff. Definitely at least get some verger draught and definitely seafood cron meals. Now there are a ton more buffs. You won't be able to get all of them. And even if you do, some cancel each other out. So I'll put a much more detailed list down below. Get some silver embroidered training clothes. I would suggest at least getting the plus two. It's not too expensive and gives you an extra 15% mount experience. Let's try to take advantage of the Black Spirit's adventure to get life skill mastery scrolls when you can. For example, since I have a couple extra dice here and some arcana cards, I'm gonna use this plus plus two pace of delight and then I'm gonna move forward two squares I'm gonna use this plus four dice to jump four more squares and grab that bad boy there are a ton more buffs that you can use but some of them are pretty expensive just use whatever buffs you have access to and just spend the money you're willing to spend just be careful some can cancel each other out like using a celerity draught and then using a verdure draught will cancel out the celerity draught now one very last tip is to get the manos riding crop yes it can definitely be pricey but if you don't already have this you're definitely gonna want this in the future anyways these buffs are absolutely amazing and this is really one of the most must-have items in the game. Every single time you ride a horse in the future, even after you have auto sprint unlocked, you're definitely going to want this anyways. But in the end, just make do with what you can. So now everything's set up, so I'm going to go watch a movie and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So now as you see, my horse is level 15. Once your horse is level 15 or higher, you can go ahead and sell it. You'll want to switch it out for a lower level horse. Remember, you get that sweet, sweet training experience when your horse levels up. So A, you don't want to level them up too much. And B, you want to make sure that if you come back and your horse's level is 50% or more, go ahead and finish out that level. Now real quickly, while you're auto path, you want to make sure that you are in a safe zone. This is a PvP game after all, so people will kill you even if you are AFK sometimes. But they cannot do that if you are in a safe zone like I am right now. All right. All right, so there we go. My horse just leveled up. So I'm turning around right now and headed straight to the stable. We're going to grab our stuff. You're going to talk to the stable keeper. Hit stable. Check in your horse. Then you're going to click on the horse that you just leveled up past 15 and hit Imperial Horse Delivery. You only have this option once your horse is level 15. Now the reason you want to do this is because you're going to get these flowers of oblivion. If you're ever going to make T10 attempts, you're definitely going to want to hold on to these. Then just select another horse and hit take out. And here's where I usually stop by the horse market to take another glance to see if we can spot another low level horse. Put that horse here you got on your new horse and then you're good to go. Hop on your horse and then just hit T and keep on going. Make sure you replenish your buffs here and there and before you go afk make sure to watch your horse for a couple rounds make sure that they keep going and rinse and repeat baby let's go watch another movie
And now finally we came back and boom, baby, we have Artisan 1. I highly suggest doing this and getting auto sprint out of the way. It is extremely beneficial. So definitely do this on your main character and get this quick. This is definitely for me a must have part of the game. Once you have this, you will not want to go back. Thank you guys so much again for checking out my channel. I highly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that like button as well. I would super appreciate it. Go follow me on twitch.tv slash it's pragna. Let's hang out. And of course, don't forget, ride faster, baby. Let's go.